You know, I'm starting to think that every time I come here to do a, a, a JSW Gourmet part, they're designed to make me hungry. Welcome to another episode of Amazing Reviews. Once again, this episode is sponsored by JSW and they have delivered a very amazing looking product or amazing looking product for us to look at today. This is the JSW Gourmet Multifunction Countertop Toaster Oven Broiler. Now, if you couldn't tell, because you know, sometimes uh, perspectives differ, this box is really big. <laughs> and uh, if you have been watching our series on JSW products, it was taking up a very large space somewhere, somewhere around here. It's not replaced <laughs> to fit on the table or the countertop. And this is gonna be an interesting one, guys, because there are a lot of functions for us to, to review and see what this thing can really do. But as always, as we do here at Amazing Review, we're gonna start looking at the packaging. I like the packaging. I have mentioned it before in other episodes that I like the black and white feel of the packaging. It has a very good look, very, it makes you very confident. It, 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 it generates a feeling of confidence in your brand just looking at the packaging, which is a good feeling. 18 slice large capacity, 45 liters. Not that you would put 45 liters of liquid in this thing. Don't do that. Please don't do, hashtag don't do that. <laughs> All right, countertop toast oven broiler. I'm reading the side here and it says 60 minute timer with signal bell, automatically turns oven off. Convenient stay on function. So I, I would imagine that those two things are mutually exclusive. You will have a convenient stay on function that turns it off as well, that can defeat its purpose. But we, we can explain that. Accommodates 18 slices of bread or bakes up to three 12 inch pizzas. And they do have a, uh, an infographic on the top of the box that has what looks like three 12 inch pizzas on there. This part is important. Stainless steel double door and the frame adds style and elegance. I gotta say yes, I can look at, looking at the packaging on the box, I can see the stainless steel appeal, the, 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 the very classy kitchen kind of steel, but it also kind of invokes a feeling of industrial kitchen and maybe that's not for everyone, okay? Let's just, you understand yourself from now, maybe that look is not for everyone. But I get a feel these double doors can take you a long way in what you want to achieve in your kitchen. Or, as I see it has a keep warm function, maybe you have a, maybe you have a cafe, maybe you have a restaurant, maybe this is for you for then. You know, maybe you can use it as a warmer. Maybe you want a packy warmer, right? Maybe this can be your thing. You could use this. And uh, I like, I do like, how the, the function, the on the packaging, the multifunction infographic, can you guys, yeah, you guys should see this. Can it, it kind of explain it. Keep warm, you have off, upper oven, or upper element, lower element, upper and lower, and that is the rotisserie symbol, right? That thing is the rotisserie symbol. So we just gonna look inside. This could take a while. Pass my multi-tool. By the magic of television, I suddenly have a multi-tool. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut this open very carefully. And since we're on this, this is an important part in your own unboxing. Anything you open, there is a correct way and an incorrect way to use a multi-tool or knife to open tape on a box, right? Not everyone worked in a warehouse for their their childhood. I mean, or or their adulthood. You know, no child labor here, right? It's important that when you slice into a box, you don't want to damage it. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this. Gonna, amazing reviews, how to unbox something without damaging it, okay? So you always start, if it has top tape and side tape, you start from the side, okay? And you carefully insert the blade. You're not going deep into the product because you don't wanna damage anything inside and you just gently slide. All right, that's one side. That's the other side. Now the important part comes next. We're going to have to, or we're choosing to, go into the top of the box. So this is where it gets really important. And you don't want to insert the blade past the cardboard. You just want to puncture the tape and then move. So we're going to do that now. Voila. Let's put this away for safety.
And now we open up the JSW Gourmet Countertop Toaster Oven and Broiler. And right here, we can see that they have done it again, where they have placed the um, social media QR codes on the side. I think that's cool. Scan code to like and follow our pages and automatically enroll, enroll in our promotions. I like that. I think it's a cool feature. Right at the top of the very large box, I'm seeing some cardboard. This will be a substantial unboxing experience. Hey, remove this. And this is the part where I'm going to have to take a cut because this is going to be hard to take out. There we have it. So we've assembled the countertop electric oven and broiler, uh, JSW Gourmet. And it wasn't a difficult assembly. It took me some time because I was trying to be careful with it. I like the build quality. I gotta say, it's it's very sturdy. It does have a very industrial feel to it. I feel like it could be at home in a, almost like a, a working kitchen. So something like that. So again, I mentioned like if you have a, a cook shop, you have a, a cafe, you have something like that. I feel like one of these things could be at home for you. Or if you really want to expand your kitchen to include the best possible toaster oven you could stock. Okay. Now let's talk about functionality. Uh, I put everything in it. This thing, I was wondering, I got it, I was wondering, what is it? What it do, Omar, what it do? And apparently what it do is it allows you to remove the, um, the tray without having to burn your hand, which is a very fantastic feature if you ask me, okay? I like the door action, I really do. And I'm, I'm oh, I left some tape on, I'm so sorry. That's the thing guys, okay? Always remember, when you get a new appliance, if you, any tape you find, any tape you find on it, take it off, especially if it's a heating element. I know some of you like to keep on, on your fridges or on your TVs and whatever. Okay, if it gets hot, remove it. Remove it, remove it. In fact, the instruction manual will tell you to remove all of the packaging materials. I like the action for the open and close. It feels very premium. It feels very, I work in a professional kitchen and I have a fantastic appliance by JSW Gourmet. Thank you very much. Now this thing, I kind of put the trays in. So, but what it does is you kind of latch and you pull out and this thing will come right out like that. And that's pretty cool. So you can actually manipulate it without having to, like if I take the other tray out, Grill tray out. You can use this. And it slides. You see, right? Right. In there. Okay? So, yes, you might have hot mats or, or hot gloves or whatever in your kitchen, and that's great. But that didn't include this. Props to you, JSW. So, let me take this back out to talk about another feature it has. I'm going to rest this on here. So, you can see inside of the device is a very peculiar looking torture implement. No, it is not a torture implement. That is your rotisserie tool. So how that works, guys, and this is how I take it out, okay? How this works is you just put this in here. Lift out. Okay, so let's say you want to roast a fowl, <laughs> poultry of some type. There are these little cat screws on the side. Stick this down. You pretty much loosen these as you need to to determine the size of the meat or roast or whatever. You can do potatoes. You can do uh, a, 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 just a potato in there if you wanted to, right? And you screw it down at the width you need it to be, and you're gonna reinsert it into the device. Since it's not hot, I'm just gonna put it in. Being short is wonderful. <laughs> and then you'd set the settings on the front accordingly. We're gonna close it back. That's nice. It's very satisfying clothes. I gotta say, it's a very satisfying clothes. If you watch a lot of TV, cable TV, you watch a lot of cooking shows, you might see devices that look like the same industrial kitchens. Um, there's a reason for it. There, there's a reason people like the style, the double door style. It has a premium feel like I told you about. It does have some also some features. You wanna check some, you wanna 
check the temperature of something, maybe you want to poke a, a, a meat thermometer into something, rather than having to open the entire door and let out so much heat. By opening just one half of the door, you can now check your meat temperatures quite easily without releasing too much heat from the inside of the oven. Okay, we gotta get on with the features of this thing. We gotta, we gotta make some space here, All right? We gotta take a look at this thing. What it do? All right, so this thing has four dials. There's a lot of dials. Maybe you're not used to that many functions on your toaster oven, but let's see if we can make sense of it quickly for you guys. All right, as we continue to review it. So this would be your temperature function. And if you put here, it's, this is where you want to keep warm. So this is going to adjust your temperature setting. Off is here. There's actually a nice audible click of when it's in that position. These are the various functions again. You have off, which will be here. Keep warm. Off. Toast or boil, which will only activate the top burner. Okay? That's what that means. Um, toast or boil on the side. Say so you want to just use the bottom burner only. That will do that. You can use both burners or you activate the rotisserie feature, which is over here. Here we have just your temperature settings in Fahrenheit. And then you have your timer. Oh! <laughs> now you can actually see, I set it to rotisserie and the rotisserie thing is spinning. This is exciting. It's gonna get pretty hot, so I'm not gonna mess around with that too much. That was satisfying. So, how do you know these things work? We gotta put it to the test and it happens to be my lunchtime. So here's what we're gonna do. I happen to bring pizza from my house. my pizza. Position it carefully like this. We're gonna close it up. And we're gonna set this to go. Voila. Catch you in a few minutes. Ha! Me thinks it is time. Okay, you guys didn't see that, but I saw like a heat swirl. <laughs> Pro tip, if you have a toaster oven or a countertop oven or an actual oven, that's the best place to warm a pizza. Do not put your pizza in a microwave. It will come out disappointing every time, if you have an option. I feel like it's gonna burn me, but we can safely say, ha, 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 ha. it's a very good product. It does what it says it's supposed to do. <laughs> So let's talk tech. It is a very hot, very capable toaster oven with a lot of functionalities. It's a big unit. And, and we're talking sense now. It's a big unit. And, oh God, it's, the, it's a big unit. And I think because it's so big, it can't be for everyone, but it is a fantastic unit. So how amazing is it? You guys know the scale. We have Okay, oh, OMG, that's where this is at. This is an OMG for me, guys. Functionality-wise, it is amazing, let's be clear. But because it's not really applicable ah, to every single person, and it is so big, I really couldn't, I can't give it an overall amazing rating, but again, OMG, how well does it, how well does it refrigerate your stuff? Absolutely horrible, abysmal. Do not refrigerate anything in this thing because it gets them very, very hot. Thank you to JSW for sending this to me so we can review it for you on Amazing Reviews. And keep watching. Keep looking at more of our videos because we have more JSW stuff and more stuff on Amazing Reviews. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.